where they're getting the permission before constitutional carry, it's in the lowest common denominator government mandated class. As an educator, an armed defense educator, I, I would be, I would say that I've had to think about a lot and answer the question a lot, like what are the minimum skills to allow somebody, in Rob Pincus's opinion, to be exercising their rights responsibly if they're gonna be carrying a gun in, in public, right? If they're at the park where my daughter's playing, what do I want them to have gone through as far as training? Well, it's a lot more than a four hour course where they never have to shoot a gun. And in, in some states, that's what you get. You get a class about, you know, here's where you can carry your gun. Here's what the law says about carrying a gun while you're drinking. Here's what the law says about carrying the gun on a school property. And uh, sign, take this test and pass the 10 questions. By the way, the 10 questions are here on the PowerPoint slide in front of you. So you'll probably do well today if you look up and good job, have fun, go exercise your Second Amendment rights. Is that good or bad? Well, you never should have had to take the test in the first place. That's right. So you don't have to take a test for the First Amendment. That's one of the things we say a lot, right? I don't, have to, I don't have to take a test for freedom of speech. Freedom of speech can't kill. Well, yeah, it can. But it, there's a couple steps removed. The gun, again, if we go back to is mandatory training a good idea, here, it doesn't matter if it's a good idea or not, it's, it's an infringement. But over here, and in kind of in all these areas over here, it's also a bad idea because it leads to lowest common denominator kind of, you know, uh, certificate mill, sit down in the class, I'm gonna tell you what you have to know. We all wanna exercise our second amendment rights, yeah, because you don't find very many people who are into gun control who become gun educators, right? So everybody's sort of on team get the permit and it just becomes pushing people through to get the permit. So we have to be really careful about the idea that mandatory training is a good idea. Not only is it illegal and an infringement, it also doesn't come anywhere close to meeting the minimum requirements that, that Rob Pincus or I think anybody reasonable in the educational space would say, you need to be able to do this. And as an example, I will use the skill of getting your gun from the holster and rapidly getting into a shooting position and shooting a, a short string of fire, three to five shots, into a chest sized target at about 12 feet. If you look at the statistics, if you have to use your gun to defend yourself in the public space, you're probably gonna have to fire a rapid burst into a chest size target at nine to 15 feet. So as a minimum, I would say, you know, if, if you haven't demonstrated the ability, at least under the controlled circumstances of the range, of getting the gun out of your holster, driving it out to a shooting position, shooting three to five shots into a 10 inch circle at 12 feet, you haven't demonstrate that you can do the thing you're most likely to do if you need to do the thing that you say you want to be prepared to do. Zero states require that test. Zero classes require that minimum level of skill to get your permit. So, so they're really, I really, as it from a professionalism standpoint as an educator and from a philo philosophical standpoint as a gun rights advocate, mandatory training can't be the way to go. It, it has to be shaming people who are doing it wrong, right? Like that I think is the most effective is making it commonplace. Every gun owner knows you keep your guns in a safe when you're not using them in there, and especially if you have kids in the house. And, and as long as we have anybody who's considered a leader or an influencer or relevant in the gun community saying, government can't make you lock them up, you don't have to lock them up. As the response here, they're hurting progress, right? They're hurting the responsible exercise of gun rights and they're, they're, they're contributing to the negative outcomes. So I would say it's the same thing here. If somebody's saying, oh, you, you, your grandfather taught you how to shoot in the farm when you were growing up, you don't need to take a class, just get a gun, you'll be fine. They're hurting everybody. They're not part of the solution. They're not part of it. It's maybe technically true and it's legal, but it's not right. It's not appropriate. It's not what we should be doing, if that makes sense. Uh, that's kind of a big answer to that question, but that, that's why I'm not for mandatory training. Go. So then if you're not for the mandatory training part of it, how do you to get the right training. 